Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitend. In this screencast we'll look at keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. First open Excel. You can see here an Excel document that I've created and it's full of just random numbers. The first shortcut is Control plus minus. And essentially you're just going to press the Control and the minus keys on your keyboard at the same time. And if you have a row selected, it'll delete the row. Or if you have a column selected, it'll delete the column. The second shortcut is control plus the ampersand or the, the little and sign above the 7 button. Um, so you're going to really be pressing control shift 7 um, and that'll apply a border to the selected cell. So control shift 7. You can see I've, a border has been applied. To remove that border, again, select the same cells and then just choose control shift underscore. And the border has been removed. To insert new cells, you want to use Control plus the plus sign. So um, if I have a, a row select, I can insert a new row by selecting Control shift plus um, If I want to find and replace, I can just press Control h and this will bring up the Find and Replace window. To simply bring up the Find dialog, just press Control f and this is essentially the same dialog, but we're on the Find tab instead of the Replace tab. Control plus R is the Fill Right command, which essentially, if I select a, if I create a formula in here, we'll say equals the sum of all of these numbers. And I enter that. I can essentially select this cell and all of these and press control R it'll copy the formula to the right to all of them so now this one will be the sum of these cells and this one will be the sum of these cells so that's the copy right command and control plus R there's three more commands I want to cover which are not using the control button these are using the F1 function keys so the first one is F1 which displays the help option and that took a second to load but here's the Excel help the second is F4, which basically repeats the last command or action if possible. So you can see right now it's just repeating that copy write command as I'm pressing it. And the final one is F7, which runs the spell checker. With that, we reach the conclusion of the point, but you can find additional screencasts, um, excuse me, you can find additional shortcuts on the blog post for this issue of the point which is available at navitencom slash blog. The link is right on your screen. Uh, you can watch previous issues or subscribe to receive the point via email also on our website. Again, navitencom Have a great week.